That's right. Several big takeaways from that budget, and really, in a sense, that budget now will uh, will 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 in a moment get to the nitty gritties of it. But money, you want to? Is there anything that you've seen in the budget in the last few moments that suggests, as, as you're digesting it, that you know, putting in that social security scheme, it, it is pretty revolutionary. I mean, let's be fair. An architecture is an attempt is being uh, uh, is being attempted in a very a serious manner to create coverage. that kind of social security, particularly for the old, for senior citizens, and it should be welcome. I do welcome it. You do welcome I, it. Good. But, 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 when it comes to the delivery of public goods and services, mm -hmm. the complete absence of any mention, any mention in the President's address, any mention in the budget, mm -hmm. of the last mile delivery that must be entrusted to local government bodies is very worrying. And the fact that agriculture, which constitutes a much larger concern for most Indians than industry, uh, receives relatively such inadequate attention and so little attention given to specifics that have been submitted by organizations like the Farmers Forum. I think that is very disturbing. Can we I can't have a budget that is meant for a few people sitting somewhere in Nariman Point or somewhere in no, 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 hold on, hold on. What I, we know, need I, is a budget for the country as a whole and point. without no. an adequate <laughs> attention being paid right. to agriculture, rural activities, and the people of India who live in rural areas. Social security concerns every Indian, whether yeah. they live in Nariman but Point. I've, and I've, I've already it said I welcomed it. Yeah, so I've, I've already I've, said yeah, I welcomed it. What I'm saying, saying is I just that while, focus I welcome, a moment on that. Uh, while I welcome one or two of the steps that they've taken, oh, no. on an overall view, hmm. I feel that a large segment of our economy and our population has been all but totally neglected. Can I just go for a moment to Rahul Kawal because you know I, I just want to bring in this point of social security. Rahul, I know you are in a shopper stop where people are looking at what will get more expensive and what will get cheaper, but I think social security affects every, every Indian and if there are benefits in terms of medical insurance, if there are benefits in terms of being senior citizens, they will be welcomed. This country for a long time has needed a, a proper architecture for providing social security and this budget has gone some way towards addressing that. I'll, 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 I'll come to Rahul in a moment, but do you, do you accept me, that? Is, is that a big positive? No, let, let me make a larger point. Yes, Raja, go ahead. Because you know, this is an issue that keeps coming up again and again and mm -hmm. again in, in budget discussions. Mm -hmm. To begin with, the budget is about taxation, mm -hmm. right? It's about fiscal uh, policy of the government. And social security was an important element of, of the fiscal policy of this government. At the end of the day, it's the state governments that are responsible for almost every single welfare program, implementation of welfare programs, improvement of you know, incomes from agriculture, implementation of schooling, of health, etc. So you could say that the one thing that this government has done in that entire field is to increase the resources, the mm -hmm. revenues available with state governments thanks to the recommendation of, of the, the Finance Finance Commission. Yes. I entirely agree with Mr. Manishankar that the, there is no focus on um, Panchayati Raj and, and district level. But you know, that's a larger political issue in the country in the last 10 years with the growth of regional political parties and strong chief ministers across political parties. Across all political parties, there is no willingness to devolve power further below the state level. And, and, That's and, a and, the, interesting, and the interesting point That's that you the issue. interesting point you were making in the break, Except you know, we not. emphasize make in India. Your belief is the future will have to be make in Gujarat, not make in future, Tamil Nadu, present. make in Kerala, make no. in Jharkhand. That you will have to create conditions yeah, no. in every state government but, for state finance ministers to actually implement and but, realize but, the dream. But even today, nobody makes in India. People make in Gujarat or in Tamil Nadu or in Bihar or in Jharkhand or wherever. And at the end of the day, it's the ground level that makes all the difference. All the center can do is to make it easier to register your company, to pay your taxes, to bring in money or take out money. These are the fiscal and financial regulations that the finance minister can address, which he's addressing in this budget. So that's interesting. But, but at the end of the day, whether you as a businessman can actually conduct your business depends on where you are, whether you're in Ahmedabad or in Tamil Nadu or... or, you know, or so, so effectively, you, you know, the, and, and let's be clear, uh, Mira, you have having an India where you've got part of India which is growing rapidly. Manishankar Iyer keeps emphasizing 1.1% agriculture growth rate. Fact is, there are states which have grown at 8, 10, 12% also in the last decade. 
uh, you know, in, in, in the agricultural sector. State like Madhya Pradesh, Bihar have shown rapid Gujarat, agriculture Gujarat. growth rates. Gujarat, you know, the, the sense is therefore that you are creating multiple Indias. And, and, and the message of the finance minister will only be imbibed by different state governments differently. The more efficient ones will administer and implement uh, a government programs more efficiently. The others may not. I, I think that's certainly true and I, you know, I would uh, differ with Sanjay in the sense that the Aam Aadmi Party is very, very committed to taking this down. Party no, 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 yeah. no, but, yeah. but okay, you, okay, what you're okay. saying is... No, you're you're committed, committed to the idea of decentralization and devolving power, no, no. but you're also committed to, you know, subsidies and providing yeah, exactly. free water and free power, so there are two parts to it. Let's look at No, no, hold on a minute. Yes. When you talk of subsidies or you talk about incentivization, the absolute numbers are also important. Let's be very clear in the state, the big state, and then let's see what you'll yes, do. Exactly. Your and state leaders will say no further devolution. Uh, let, let me be very clear that will that day will come. We will all see it and there will be devolution. We are absolutely God committed to that. The, 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 you know the point is the point in terms of we're coming back to you know how inclusive this budget is. I think there are certain very very good steps. There is no doubt about that uh, Rajdeep. The question as I said is we would like to see the fine print. How is this going to happen? For example people who work in my house have taken on the Jandhan Yojana. Mm -hmm. Actually for them to get this rupee card has become very difficult even in a bank like state bank of india in the existing jandhan yojana you have an accident free accident cover of 30000 mm -hmm. i've spoken to all the domestics who are working in my building not a single one of them has got it mm -hmm. so the devil is in the detail how does this actually work is what we need to see and i think we need to give time for that there is you know no doubt in my mind but when we come to ease of doing business as i said to say that we are going to set up a committee defies imagination because there are many states in the country already mm -hmm. where the ease of doing business has been demonstrated yeah, and you know the Prime Minister claims that Gujarat is one of them. You know, so Why don't we Mira, cut and paste? So, so you're yeah. saying just uh, cut and paste the Gujarat model in a sense he did oh. not need to appoint a committee today which was going to look at how to remove ex uh, uh, Inspector Raj that right. would only delay the process. Had he simply said today that these are the laws or rules you know what, what Sanjay had suggested yesterday in the pre-budget special remove you know in some way send out a clear signal that you're downsizing your 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 making procedures easier he transparent online e-governance so you, you didn't e -portal. need this committee exactly it would have deferred you know yes uh, what I wanted to say there there's one good thing which I want to point out and one bad thing mm -hmm. the good thing is that the overall budget seems now to suggest moving to a, a modern taxation system a modern economy uh, we are moving towards ASEAN tax uh, ASEAN tax rates Sorry. we are uh, deepening the debt market, we've got Sarfezi, bankruptcy law, Sorry? tax pass through for financial institutions, mm -hmm. and a cash moving towards a cashless society, visa on arrival. These are all moving towards the right direction. The one area which I would fault him is that India has a bad reputation for harassing the ordinary, honest individual, That's especially the taxpayer. And while he's, it's good that he's going to punish offenders, but he has to tell us how he's going to change the mindset of the tax collector. That is the real um, you know, but, but that, that's again been a challenge that has been faced by several finance but ministers over the years and yeah. never really addressed. I, I just want to take a pause be because uh, Mr. Jaitley is going to speak, but before that I'm told his family uh, uh, is speaking at the moment. Mr. Jaitley incidentally is leaving on a personal visit to the United States for five days, so he'll be away from all the fallout of the budget. Perhaps that's the best way a finance minister <laughs> should deal with the issue. Let's just listen into the family and then come back with more. I'm very proud of him. I'm telling you, he's taken care of. He's a very able person. He's taken care of all sections of society. And he's presented a very good, a very dynamic budget. He's, he's always delivered. I'll be very partial. I'll be very partial. All full marks. Focus has been on entrepreneurship, so I think that's very good. So Jetli's family is giving the thumbs up. Not surprising. You wouldn't expect the family to do anything else uh, but give the thumbs up to their uh, to their family member. But yes, quick point that you wanted to make before you uh, you know this the mindset of the tax yeah. collector.
you know, we are coming back to implementation. I know you say that, that uh, yeah, we've got a tax yeah. expert. Yes, yeah. the, the mindset. The mindset what will it take, collector. Mr. Shekhar, to yeah. change the mindset of that tax collector? That's, that's very, in fact, he made a point in his budget speech that I'm going, we are committed to implement the Tax Administrative Reforms Commission report. Right. And the Tax Administrative Shom, Reforms Shom, Commission Shom, report Shom, of Dr. Shom has dealt in various manners how the entire inspector raj or yeah. mindset of the tax collector has to be changed yeah. and he has accepted the report that's what the way he said in the budget speech appears to be and if he's implementing government is implementing the report then definitely the gurcharanda's point would get answered by the trustee let me so you cannot change the administrator of the I tax mindset by right. overnight let me be very clear mm -hmm. you cannot change any administrator tax administrator mindset by overnight tomorrow onwards don't issue the notices no administrator will listen yeah. unless it gets implemented by internal circulars, internal instructions, and clear-cut protection from the bosses. That is what is Tax Administrative Reform Commission is talking about. Then it would happen. Otherwise, there could be a serious difference between the intention and the action. No, let again, me, it then comes to the will of the government. And, uh, you know, you've got a majority government with a prime minister who claims to be decisive. Now, these are the areas where the prime minister has to make clear that the bureaucrats, yeah. the tax collector, implements <laughs> what his yeah. larger vision is. Okay, let us look at over the last nine months that this government has been in power. What is it? They've set up commissions and we all say everybody sets up commissions. I've been following commissions for the last 20 years. And you know, this is the first time, no matter what the commission is, it responds in quick time and they take action. It doesn't say we will get another commission. Whether it is a railway commission that has been accepted, whether it was a ready commission, which was a finance commission, perhaps they needn't have accepted it, mind you. So this they comes to leadership. This, a is, where, this, is, where, this exactly. is where it comes to leadership. This is where implementation is. Implementation is about Pato, leadership. Pato Shom's, Pato Shom's report Pato Shom's report was given to the Congress government four years ago. And what happened? It gathered dust. Here he comes from an opposition party. It's clearly an opposition party document. Okay, he me accepts it. <laughs>